Okay, so Nika, you, you tell me, what are some of the stories that are close to your heart or your mind or both? The ones that I have read or the ones I have written? Well, the ones that you've read and may have inspired you to write or? Well, you know that when I was, I want to say 18, but I don't remember the exact age I was. The one that I really inspired me was The Bride by Babsi Sidva. That was my kind of turning point in my life of uh, a Desi writer writing from close to home and a woman who was writing from close to home. And I read The Bride and I remember um, our aunt who is featuring in uh, Abda Popo, who we're featuring in our uh, memoirs as well. She went to school with uh, Babsi Sidva and um, she mentioned how she'd had conversations with her and how you know highly respected she was even as a student. And so that story, the, the story of the bride of this young woman who um, goes to Lahore and then she, she's going to be forced to get married and then all the travails, you know, everything that happens after that. And of course those memories of, uh, I, I don't think they're her memories, but the memories of her father of a place that he grew up in up north. Um, that was a story that resonated with me. And more recently, I've been seeking out um, particularly female writers um, only because I, I find a peace uh, a lot of times in looking at the world from the eyes um, of writers like um, Elena Ferrante, you and I both love her work. Um, because the stories are just stories of human beings trying to live their basic lives, and um, and all her books. We we've really been engaged with them, and we read. And then there's Orhan Pamuk, of course, and and our own kind of love affair with Istanbul and Turkey and all culture, like like the, the that what's going on in Pakistan. Anyway, everyone is in love with Istanbul culture, uh, but. But the way Orhan Pamuk shows Istanbul and the depth of it, you know, the, so those are some storytellers who I read um, and you and I have both read them together and discussed the stories to, you know, and, and we'll be writing about them and have been writing about them on the blog. But yes, you were going to ask a follow up question. Yes. So which aspect of these writers and their writings um, uh, influence the way you write. Talk a bit about your own writing. I like the connections within the connections within the connections. I don't really care for neat stories. By when I say neat, where all the ends are tied neatly and um, the package is given to the reader. I like loose ends um, because that is how life is. And I know sometimes people say we read to escape life. Um, but, I, and I, I do the same thing. I do read to escape life. Um, but I also enjoy seeing life in a, in a magnified and sometimes a more stylized way. Um, and it allows me to look at life in a more magnified and stylized way and then appreciate it a lot more. And so when we've had a trip together um, in, you know, when we've traveled together and we've gone around places which are not necessarily all organized the way, you know, tourists expect them to be, uh, we both appreciated the um, kind of the, the minor, the minor faults, so to speak, um, how people prefer art as opposed to photography uh, or, you know, the, that human element in life. Um, so I like uh, stories which are not necessarily neatly tied up. And that is why in my novel, Wild Boar in the Cane Field, I haven't really tied up all the loose ends. Um, I've left it to, for, to my reader's imagination to see what happens to Tara and um, her daughter 
and the people around her and what do they make of life. Um, so yeah, that, those are the elements. And I think I'm going to stop here now.